What's happening everybody? Scott Shimamoto here. I'm going to teach you guys how to dance. First of all, why do you need to learn how to dance in a club, whatever, at a wedding, whatever, wherever you're at, guys, you got to know how to dance. You know why? Because the ladies like to dance, man. I don't know why they like dancing, but they love dancing. I don't really like dancing, but I'm good at it. So that's how, you know, that's how I meet the ladies. Don't want to look like a fool out on the dance floor. You just do not want to do that. So I put this little video together. It's gonna to be you know simple. You can see I didn't like you know make some big old set or whatever. I'm just at my house. I'm gonna give you the fundamentals of dancing. You can take these to the club, you can take to a wedding, wherever you're at, and dazzle the ladies. All right. So if you're ready for this, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm, we're gonna go from head all the way down to your feet. Should be simple. But uh, let's start with the head. Okay, so your head, you gotta have your head right. Meaning, you need to have it in your mind that you're either gonna be a good dancer or you are a good dancer. Because you have to have confidence when you're out there dancing, okay? So, how do you get the confidence? I'm gonna show you how. If you know these fundamentals that I'm gonna teach you, then, you know, hey, you gotta be confident. Because it's really simple. It's so simple that when you hear what I'm going to tell you, you're going to be like, why didn't I learn this before? Why? Because no one like me ever broke it down like this easy. So, all right, so back in the head. All right, first thing you need to do, you need to learn the beat. Okay, so like, Everybody's like, well, the beat, the beat. Of course, like, do you have rhythm? Do you have whatever? Okay, you can never have rhythm if you don't understand rhythm and what the beat is. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a couple terms here uh, just so we can refer back to them later. First one is four, four time. Four, four time. That means every, there's a thing called a measure. They call it a, different things, but a measure, it's four. It goes in fours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right? Okay, now, it's so simple. If you can count to four, you can have the beat, right? But even more, more simple, or more important, is there's a, what they call the downbeat, which is ones and threes are the downbeat, right? Twos and fours are the backbeat. The reason why dancers are really good, they understand this. Right? It's all in fours. That's why when you hear these guys say, actually like choreographers, they do it in eights. So like when you see like these guys that learn how to dance, you always hear them say five, six, seven, eight, whatever, right? Because it's in fours. All right, so the downbeat's the ones and the threes, the backbeat is the two and the four. Got it? Pretty simple, right? All right, how does that apply to what we're gonna do on the dance floor? Okay, well, first of all, when we're out there dancing, for the most part, it's gonna be R&B music or some kind of pop music where it's, it's, it's in these fours, one, two, three, four. You don't wanna like try and learn how to dance to some crazy like heavy metal or something because you can't really hear the beat in there. The beat's in there, but it's not pronounced like these R&B tunes or hip hop or something like that. Okay, so let's get back to this beat. It's one, two, I'm gonna go like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the trick, once you get this beat, is you always have to move on the twos and the fours. You freeze. In other words, like you could be dancing, you know, one, two, you know, or whatever, right? But it's always one, two, three, four. One, two, get it? The twos and the fours, you stop what you're doing and do something else. You can go crazy in the middle, but as long as you're on the two, the two and the four and you're stopping, you're gonna sound good, right? Then you're gonna be like, okay, well, what about all those other beats? There's a lot of other stuff. Okay, the twos and the fours, you know, the one, two, three, four, those are typically the snare drum. It's like, like one, two, three, four, right? So, just concentrate on the twos and the fours on the, on the snare drum. But there's also, like there's that kick drum, right? It's like the boom, 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 
Boom, boom. Right water. Let's see how, the, how that two and the four is on that snare drum. All right. So you can almost ignore those those kick beats. You know what I mean? You can you can throw those in there and you can move a little bit to that, but you can almost ignore those, right? Same thing with those hi hats. The hi hats are in there. It's usually just like right. So you could you could almost ignore those too, right? And then the music. That's the melody. You can do stuff with that, you know what I mean? If, if, if you can feel it or whatever. But again, you always just come back to the two and the four. So it's like You guys got that on the rhythm? <laughs> Pretty simple, man. The twos and the fours. Just remember that even twos and the fours do your thing on the twos and the four. You stop, you go in a different direction, whatever. Okay, now. So I just did this with one arm right now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you can practice just doing that. Like, you know, just, you know, just practice doing that. One, two, three, four. But with the arms, especially in a club, because when a club is crowded, they're not really seeing your feet. You just have to do it with your, with your hands and your arms. Get your arms loose, right? And let them just flow. You know, whatever it is you're doing. You know, watch, watch the guys dancing in these videos. You know what I mean? If they're doing like this, you know what I mean? Do like that. If they're just going like this or whatever, do that. But as long as you get to that two and the four and you boom. Whatever it is. See how I'm stopping? I'm stopping on the two and the fours and just Doing my hands. Okay, so you get them loose, you know, get them moving like that. Okay, we're gonna move down the body now. Your body, if you go like this with your shoulders, and you know what I mean? Your body has to move with you. It has to, there's just no, you can't go like this, right? I guess if you try to pop lock or something like, you know what I mean? But for the most part, if you go like this, you know what I mean? It's just, it's got, your body's gonna move naturally. It has to, because if it doesn't, you're gonna fall over, right? So, what I'm saying is, let your body do what your hands and arms tell, you know, tell it to do. All right, so you got that on the body? Let's move, you know, just move with it. All right. Okay, now the legs, the legs are the same thing. If you just, like if you're in a crowded club and you can't multitask, and you can't do two things at the same time, forget your feet. Like a lot of times I'm at, I'm at a club and it's crowded, I'm just doing like this. You know what I mean? Because no one sees anything below this, right? People in the crowd think you're like grooving, right? But you, you know, you're just standing there, right? doing whatever you're doing, right? The girl's impressed, because you got the rhythm. So just concentrate on that first, the arms. The arms are the most important. But when you get down to the legs, I wanna, okay, so the legs have to kind of go too, right? Even if they don't move, you know, if it's one, two, three, four. See how my legs are just going? They're just going. They just go, they have to go. Cause I'm just one, two, three, four. So my legs just go automatically, right? But I'm gonna give you the tip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show me this step. It's the simplest step ever. And it's gonna make you look like you know what you're doing. Okay, I'm gonna do a little close up on this. But just go with your feet like this, right? Like this. Just go back and forth. You don't even have to, you can just keep going back. And just like, just make your feet go like this. You know what I mean? I can't do it like, I can't do it like I think about it. I just gotta do it with the feet. Anyway, you do that with your feet, you're gonna be good, man. You're gonna be all good in the hood. Sorry, my, my shoes are a little dirty, but hey, it's all right. It's all right, I'll teach you how to dance. And then, it just makes it happen, man. See? See how good that looks? See how good that looks? So, we started at the head with the beat, came down the arms, came down to the body, got down to the feet, 
Yeah, I'll throw, like I said, I'm gonna throw that little close up of that. Uh, this right here. It, it's real simple. That stuff's real simple. Okay, now the last thing, we're gonna come back to the head now. Because that's so important. You could you can even not even be moving, and you could be just standing there and just doing your head like this, right? Boom. But if you can do all that together, throw a little bit of this, this is if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. I, I gotta do it. I can't even think about what I'm doing. But if you can do all that stuff together, you're gonna look like you could dance like crazy, and then you're just throwing some variations. So let's review. You've got the head with the beat, got the arms, got the body, got the legs, got the feet. And now it comes back to the head. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, I'm telling you, man, if you just go with that two and the four, you're going to be good. So, subscribe, whatever, scottshumamoto.com, check out my comedy videos, whatever. But if you ever want to learn how to, you know, like, that, yeah, watch this video again. Just watch it a couple times. I guarantee you, you're going to be knocking it down on the clothes, all right? So, here we go. I'll put it all together now, right? With my own, like, fake music at the, right, at the same time. Or well, maybe I should rap for you. No, I can't rap. <laughs> I can't rap and do this at the same time. But watch this, okay, ready? Don't you want to do that in the clubs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throw your hands in there like this. Anyway, that's me, Scott Shimamoto. ScottShumaMoto.com. That's what I'm talking about. Subscribe again, watch it again, share it, whatever. And uh, throw some likes on there. All right, and peace, we're out of here.